it's really, really good to um, be involved in this uh, webinar for Cubix. Hopefully, everyone is familiar. It was useful just to sort of touch on a bit about who Cubix are and where it is that we come from. Cubix uh, is seen as a leading international assessment and development consultancy. We've got a, a blend of occupational psychologists, HR consultants, IT professionals, and psychometricians. So that really lends us to the ability to look for innovative and new ways of approaching assessment and looking at assessment. As you can see there, we've got over 160 employees across the, the globe. And basically what we're looking always to do is supporting organizations in the selection and development field. OK. So let's get into some of the elements around eTray. And Marie is now going to talk about what the eTray actually is. Thank you, Peter. So what we thought would be helpful to do, first of all, is just talk a little bit about simulation exercises. E-Tray is a type of simulation exercise, and I'm sure that many of you listening already use simulations in various forms, but it's possible that some of you are maybe slightly less familiar with this style of task. Basically, a simulation exercise is any form of assessment exercise that you can use, which is actually asking candidates to complete tasks or show skills exactly as they would have to do in a working environment. So, Classic examples of these include role plays, presentation exercises, group exercises, um, or intrays. And there are also many other tasks that could be classed as simulations. So, for example, for particular roles, simply getting someone to do a typing task would be a realistic simulation as part of their day-to-day -day work. Now, the benefits of these type of exercise come in a few different ways, really. Um, you're, of course, assessing competencies in a realistic context, and this gives you a number of benefits. You actually get to see the candidate's actual behavior in relation to the genuine challenges of the role. So you're not just getting a report back about what they think they've done in the past, anything like that. You're actually seeing it real, for real in front of you. And so as well as giving you as a recruiter or an assessor that advantage, they also give candidates a real insight into what might be expected to, of them if they actually succeed in progressing into a particular role. Now, I just wanted to move on and expand on that a little more, talk, talking about in-tray exercises, because e-tray is basically an updating of the classic in-tray exercise. Now, as many of you may know, intrays are one of the most common forms of written assessment used at assessment centres. They can assess a range of skills. Um, candidates typically see them as being quite face valid. That is, they see it as realistic. They can understand why they're being asked to do this. Um, and typically, the intray works by giving the candidate a large pile of paperwork. It could be all sorts of materials. It could be printed out emails. It could be letters, memos, reports, anything that you can provide them into, in written form, really. And by going through those, respondents are asked to sort through them, figure out what the priorities are, decide what actions they're going to take. Um, and of course, in this way, you're assessing some, some very obvious behaviors. The classic areas to measure, really, are organizing, problem solving, decision making, but of course you can also measure more specific competencies based on the, the nature of the content that you give them as well. Now, in trays have always been popular because they were quite a good reflection of the workplace, but of course when these were first developed, the workplace was quite different. We weren't using electronic formats in the way that we do now, we weren't online, so these are actually now starting to look a little bit dated and not so representative of day-to-day -day work anymore. So this is where eTray comes in. What we've done with eTray is we've taken the traditional concept of an in-tray exercise and updated it for the 21st century. So what is Cubix eTray? So eTray isn't just one exercise. It is a suite of different exercises that we have available. So what we actually present to you is an email inbox, which candidates have to respond to. 
So key features of it are that it's administered online, so you get automatic scoring, which removes all of the, the historic pain that people often used to feel in in-tray exercises. There's no pain to take in going through everything, figuring it out. It makes it much more objective as well, because there's a, there's a guaranteed pre-organized um, ordering in terms of how scoring works. It's also got a multilingual capacity, so we can provide e-trays in, in a variety of languages. And there's also the facility to use our pre-existing platform that we've already developed, but actually then uploading your own custom-made content to that as well. So in terms of the target audience for the e-tray, um, I've got details here. Hopefully you're seeing those on screen in terms of the actual target audience for the e-tray. Um, these target audiences are support staff, graduates and junior managers, and middle managers. Now, I'd just like to highlight, though, that those jobs, job titles there, that, those are the areas that we're looking at in terms of the generic off-the-shelf E-trays that we provide. And actually, that covers quite a broad range of jobs. Um, however, if you did want to look at something very different, of course, we could develop them for any type of role in terms of a bespoke E-tray. So, just to go on a little bit more and give you a flavor of what the E-Tray task actually consists of. So in terms of our off-the-shelf versions, we've got three core tasks. First of all, there's a, there's a point at the beginning where candidates obviously read instructions, and they have the opportunity to familiarize themselves with background information. And typically on our generic versions, that's around 10 minutes that's allowed there. Then they can go on to the next task, which I suppose is the main task, the most time-consuming part of the e-tray, where they respond to emails. They'll have emails coming into their inbox. Um, and this is actually done in a dynamic way, um, so that as they respond to emails, more emails start to filter in, representing real life. People will respond to you. You'll get, get new responses coming in over the course of the exercise. And what candidates have to do with these emails is they have to identify out of four options which of those options is the most effective response to the email that they've received and which would be the least effective response. Then finally, once they've completed the emails, there's also a written task. And for different versions of our e-tray, that varies between 20 and 40 minutes. One thing I'd like to highlight here is that it's not absolutely essential for candidates to complete all tasks. So, for example, you might choose that you just want them to read the background information and respond to the most least emails. So that gives you greater flexibility about how you use it as well. Or, for example, you might want to just give them the written task to complete. So there are, there are options there. Also, I've given you the timings here in terms of what's set a standard, but we do have the facility to adjust timing. So, for example, with candidates with special requirements, you might need a little more time. Now, Peter is going to do a full demonstration of the e-tray shortly, but what we've also included on screen now, we appreciate we're going to be talking about the e-tray for a little while to help you understand it more before we actually show it to you. So we've just put a screenshot on the screen now, which you should hopefully be able to see. It just shows you a bit of an idea of the look and feel of that e-tray inbox. So what you can see on screen at the moment is there's an inbox with a few emails in it. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see there are options to look at your inbox or to check on your sent items that you've already responded to. Down towards the lower left-hand side, you can see candidates have the option to have the view of looking at their mailbox or looking at the background documents or their calendar. And open on the screen is one of the emails from their inbox. And this is one where the candidate has hit reply and decided that they're going to respond to it. And you'll see that just immediately above the email, they've got the four options laid out for them and little sections for them to select the most and least effective option. Okay. So I'm now going to hand over to Peter. He's going to talk to you a little bit about why you might want to use E-Tray and what the benefits are. 